Okay, what's going on, family? Welcome in. Come on in. Come on in. All right, so I know, I know that when you think about watches, that's not the first thought process, I guess, or the first thing you think about when you're talking watches. But I can tell you that the watch that I'm about to show you here in a second, I didn't find it like that. I didn't know what the watch meant. I just know that when I saw it, it just slapped me in the face. I said, oh, I like the color. I like this watch. It was lightweight. I tried it on. As you can see here, I, I enjoyed the watch. I enjoyed the watch. Um, it wasn't until later, after digging into it, and you know, I was like, you know, one day I may want to get this watch. And the watch was actually at uh, Matt's Watches, right? Like over on eBay. So I said, you know what, let me jump into it. But of course, while jumping into it, I actually had to research. I wanted to see, you know, what was going on. Now it has its own version of the Salita 200. And uh, it's one of the oldest watch companies out there, 1883. Right? So Alpina has a. A, a, a significant name in the watch community it's not like for me i haven't heard about it as much as i heard about other watches mainstream but this watch was built as a tool watch right going to the alpines alpinist you know this thing was made to you know shock resistant like to take these extreme temperatures and stuff like that so i said i'm all in i'm all in i like it you know what i'm saying so let's look at this watch just made from ocean plastic pulled into mid-ocean gyres gravity winds and the earth's rotation are responsible okay so i didn't bring my bag with me that has a knife i have two different bags i go when i work out do my walk and then have breakfast so ah all right let's get it So of course, um, man, I got this again. I bought this off of eBay, and uh, this comes from Matt's Watches. Shameless plug. Go check them out. So I did ask a question because on his website I saw that you know it had this Alpina actually had plastic around the watch as he displayed it. And actually, was it new? He purchased it. And he sells them as used because he really don't know if it's ever been used or not. So let's adjust this camera. All right. So I have that. Let's see, he put some other stuff in there. Ooh. I got some merch. Okay. Shout out to my man, Matt. All right. Let's go ahead and pull the sleeve off. And based on the website, uh, Alpina's website, you can go see it for yourself. A lot of this stuff is made from ocean plastic case and what you're about to see here. They actually work, uh, they did like collaboration with Gyra Watch. G I'm sorry, Gyra. Gyra. Gyra? Is it right? Am I saying it right? Like gyration? But it's just a whirlpool of trash in the ocean, right? And then they're working with some company called like Surf Rider Foundation. It's like uh, uh, some type of organization that was created to uh, like preserve oceans or something like that. So uh, let's check it out. Oh, that's, that's nifty. Ooh. It's a certification card. Limited edition. Now this, I believe this watch, uh, I think this became a thing in 2020, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Alpinaism, and that's what, see, this is what I was talking about. So this is what I saw on the website, is that plastic over it. So I don't imagine anybody wore this watch before me. It really didn't matter because it's recycled. It's a recycled watch, so hand me over. Y'all know how I feel about plastic, man. And I ain't got my knife. Okay, we'll get to the, uh, hold up. I'm not going to be satisfied to come off. There we go. All right, cool. So let's get a 
look at that case back if we can. Mm. Gyra Alpina, 1883. Well, that's a long model number, geez. 30 atmospheres. Ah, I like this matte black. So, what is said about the case, which I'm feeling it, and it does, it feels like a composite material. Lightweight, uh, very lightweight. Now, that is made up of 70% trash. <laughs> Seventy percent trash, and the rest is like thirty percent is like uh, glass fiber, just to, you know, to keep the sturdiness. So uh, I did take the liberty of looking at other uh, reviews to see, and there's actually controversy behind this watch. You know, when it comes to the plastic, and what's the real purpose, or is it? Uh, what was it? What was one of the comments was? Did they throw like some plastic in the ocean themselves and got it out and said it's ocean plastic? And I'm like, it's, it's like it's some crazy stuff that's being said, controversial stuff. But uh, when I get into all that, I just know that there is controversy behind this watch. I think the watch overall is nice. Alpina's name, and that's something about a name brand. Um, I wouldn't imagine for a company that's been in business for well over 80 years would sacrifice uh, their name for some stuff. But I mean, I guess. And I want to feel that. Very, uh, yeah, no play. It has a very low audible click to it. Not bad. I've heard better, but not bad. It's still satisfying. Sci-Fi Chris, we got all the goodies, man. I know people love... When you say Swiss made, people just go crazy. But I'm just tripping off the fact that, like, the strap is made out of uh, recycled plastic. The watch case is made out of uh, uh, plastic. And this was uh, an inexpensive way to get into, like, a Swiss made timepiece for me. Uh, the price on this one, I believe I saw this on Amazon for $1,200, but then I seen it on Joma Shop for cheaper. And Matt may have one left. If I'm not mistaken, and it's around like I know it's under 500. So, whoever purchased this watch first, that money went to this, you know, I guess the preservation of the sea. So, I did not participate. I will represent the watch though, and I will drop a link down there if you want. To. I'm pretty sure if you go on Alpine's, uh, Alpine, Alpina, I'm thinking Alpine, like the GI Joe. Be nice, guys. We just put it on my credit card. That's really, you know what? That'd be dope, man. They should uh, do something with Hasbro and have Alpine actually showcase his watch. But I still got my tag for whatever that's worth. <laughs> I'm keeping that. I'm keeping that. You know what I'm saying? Historical value. It's just, uh, this isn't, you know, in my watch journeys, this is something I probably wouldn't even thought that I would do even going this direction, but um, if this a watch that catch my attention, I'm interested. And it just so happened this thing, this thing has a lot of history and then it means something. So I would, uh, I'm going to drop the link. And if it's something that you're interested in, go check it out for yourself, get more information. Um, there's a lot of organizations that you can just subscribe to, I imagine, you know what I'm saying? So, well, this was the quick unboxing or not so quick. You guys let me know what you think about this timepiece down in the description. But for now, uh, I'm about to put this thing on. I ain't got a size it or nothing, man. It's ready to go. All right. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until the next lightning strike, family, y'all be blessed.